Good morning, folks. If you haven't seen it yet, this was the meteor that came down over Florida Monday night. These shots are courtesy of the Northport PD dash cams. Today, we've got solar wind taking on our magnetic shield, Mars, water, a view inside a hurricane, and more notes on the disaster prediction at beta release. But we will begin over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star were relatively calm. Most of the activity you do see is top left. It's the umbral magnetic field loops of an incoming sunspot. The solar flaring is low. The B flare spike is about 10 times weaker than anything we'll likely care about. But as for the incoming sunspot, we need today to tell if he's got any company coming around with him. The umbral and penumbral core looks deep on the Doppler gram, so it will be worth analyzing as we move forward. In terms of watching today, the thin dark lines left of that turning coronal hole are not part of it, but plasma filaments. We'll hope they stay still today, and there is actually another one in coming north of the sunspot over at the limb. It's towering high as a solar tornado. Let's go next to the solar wind. Speedy particles from the coronal hole are streaming across our planet. At this time, it is not major, and our shield has handled the stream with only short-lived instability. But we'll be in this stream for a couple of days as the coronal hole stream is enormous, still facing Earth actually, and we'll be looking for a second speed spike soon as we've seen with the last two passes of this coronal hole. New article is out from the Jet Propulsion Lab. Apparently there is so much water ice in a subsurface layer of Mars, it would fill Lake Superior. More evidence of the current state of Mars and what it used to look like with an ocean covering much of the northern hemisphere. Up next, we're at the Tropical Rainfall Measurement Mission page looking at the heightened intensity of rainfall in newly formed Hurricane Otto, currently taking on Central America. Landslide risk is high in prone areas. Our thoughts are with you. Folks, QuakeWatch.net is undergoing a makeover in preparation for the Disaster Prediction app. Of course, the app is about both the sun and earthquakes, but this page will have the information about the latter. For EarthSpot analysis, we've put a fully functional windy TYI frame on there so you can use that amazing tool without actually having to leave the page. I'd also like to mention that if you haven't been to earthchanges.org, it has the complete magnetic reversal of Earth breakdown and tracking of its effects on the weather. As many of you know, the beta process for the Disaster Prediction app is underway. If you founded the app on Kickstarter, check the email you used on that site including your spam or junk folder, and every email entered will have something from me asking which device you will use, and if it's Apple, your Apple ID email address as well. We've got over a thousand responses already, and we'll get you set up on the program you've selected in a matter of days. Right now, we've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.